Welcome to Humming Punks with me and Hurst. And me, Jimmy Watkins. Each week we're going to be reviewing a different album as selected by our guest with just three words. It's a bit of a challenge, it's going to be tough, it's going to be fun, it's going to be random, and there might be the odd swear word. Yeah, so if there are any children listening, make sure they already know the swear words in advance. Good advice. Take care, sit back, relax and enjoy. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> hello, Matt. Good morning. Ah, hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Humming Punks. You might be able to tell we're completely pumped today. Do you want to know why we're pumped? Uh, I Yeah. Could you let me know why I'm pumped? Because I've just woken up this morning totally pumped. Yeah. I'm pumped because we've got some young blood on the show today. <laughs> <laughs> Not me and you anymore, Jimmy. Not us little sort of fogies. We've got young blood. This means... A whole new demographic. Oh wow! Okay, you say you whole say new you say new demographic. My demographic is about forty to fifty year olds. Hey, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> older than us. That's older than us. <laughs> that is older than us. That's that's older than us. So, um, those of you listening, yeah, hello everybody. Welcome to another edition of yeah. Humming Punks with the amazing, super talented Max Tyler. Hello, Max. How you yeah, doing? I'm great. I'm I'm so excited to be here. You know, we we're all pumped. We're, all, we're this is going to be an energetic episode. I think. <laughs> It's going to be a lot of coffee filled. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's going to be an energetic yeah. episode. It's going to be it's going to be a good one. So for those of you who might, or for those listeners who might not know who Max is, uh, where have you been? Yeah, where have you been? Or certainly for the last seventeen years of them, uh, Max Tyler, the next big thing, superstar DJ. Here we go, producer. <laughs> Love it. Oh, God. Excellent singer. Yeah, just oh, pianist. Come on now. <laughs> it can't, it the can't next, be nothing else. The next big thing. Can't be that I go to everything. Most importantly, it's not fair. He is that good. Most importantly, uh, we are Hummingbird Ambassador. Yes. So it's a joy to have you here, mate. Absolute joy. Thanks for the amazing, amazing. Work are you a running doing. punk ambassador? Uh, not yet. All oh, right, there you are. Yeah. Wait, wait for the call ups. <laughs> right. Do you have ambassadors? Jimmy? We call them punk pioneers. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, like we just it. give them our login uh, details to all the social media, and then we, <laughs> we <laughs> wear them tag. Yeah, yeah, we watch the colour drain from their face as they like. What is going on here? <laughs> I love it. I love that. So um, yeah, it's going to be a high energy show. I can yeah. feel it. I can feel I can it. Already. Feel it in my slippers. We've got, <laughs> yeah, we've got a lot to get through. So I want to spend a couple of minutes talking about Max. So our, our paths first cross, Max. Uh, Oh man! It was July, July uh, last year, was it? Is it July I last think... year again? Another person I've yet to meet in the flesh yeah. uh, who I now consider a a good good friend. So it's yeah, wow! Last I July, mad. Um, Max, you have shot to to kind of I'm going to say the word fame in if that's yeah. okay. I'm going to say shot to fame in a really really short space of time. Um, Tell me, tell me where it starts. Because I know the story, but yeah. explain it. Explain it to everyone listening. Okay. Maybe start with how long ago you first touched a set of decks and where you are now. Okay, so yeah. Um, hi, everybody. So, so I got my first set of decks for my 16th birthday. So I'm 17 now. I'm turning 18 this year. <laughs> what? Um, and um, I, I first I got on my 16th, 16th. And... Um, I'd kind of seen a pair of decks before and had, had taught myself a bit and didn't really know what I was doing still. Um, and then, yeah, kind of went went from there watching a couple of YouTube videos, but, ma- but mainly kind of based on what I'd seen a, a DJ that I'd been going around with near where I live, helping him with kit, helping him with gigs and stuff. So I'd kind of seen what he, he was doing and, and, you know, trying to copy it to see if I could be as good, which I wasn't at that point. So I was 16 years old when I first got 16 and that was June 20, what would that be? Would that be 2019, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah 2019. 2019. Um, and then... 2020 uh february february 2020 i was i was skiing and i was we were in this club and i saw these decks and the dj wasn't there yet i went up to the bar manager and i said well can i have a go because uh, you know i have you now i play a bit I play a bit back in the uk and i didn't at all i don't think i really knew how to mix and that was february 2020 <laughs> 
Um, oh my word! So I just kind of got up and and did. Uh, and the guy was like, "Yeah, sure, I have ten minutes, whatever, but you know, we'll need you to go because the main guy is coming in about half an hour." <laughs> so I'm like, "Yeah, this all right, is that's like fine." A movie. And so I'm literally I'm up there, and then pe- more people start coming through the door, and it's kind of just starts to kick off, and the, the <laughs> DJ turn the DJ turns up, and the guy's like, "Can you stay?" Uh, until two <laughs> by, that, by, by that time my dad had already given me a curfew to come back to the hotel which I rang him up and obviously went not coming back <laughs> um, but yeah and then it kind of would and then from that from that night onwards I was kind of um, really definitely 100% sure that's what I wanted to do and then that obviously the, the big story of in um, lock, start of lockdown I was doing kind of DJ sets to my mates on Instagram live to about three or four or five people, like 10 people joined, I'd be like, oh, amazing. They'd be like, well done, well done. And they'll carry on with their work. Um, and then, yeah, then kind of got noticed by Chris Moyles, who did a mention on, on his Instagram set and viewers went from 10 people to, you know, 1,800 people <laughs> overnight, really. Just just like that. It was, so. it was uh, I've, I've seen you do your Friday night sets to like 8,000 people. Is it, well, do you know what your maximum number uh, is? It's definitely not eight, but it was, I think, I think the maximum was about three at one point. Oh, was it that yeah. three? Wow. Oh, amazing. Do you know something, um, I'm going to come back to you in a minute, but out of nowhere, I've just been reminded of a, of a brilliant story <laughs> that I'm going to share. Um, so when you were talking about playing the set in the club, <laughs> it, it reminded me of actually being on holiday in 2012 in Ibiza um, with a group of my mates. And we'd gone, um, <clears throat> we'd gone out um, and we, we were in Ibiza Rocks bar okay i'll be the box bar so not the the club itself but the bar and there was a guy with us uh, who always there isn't he life and soul of every party and he he was the life and soul he'd do anything he was always up for it and um we were sat there in a beef rocks bar watching this this dj set with by a a dj called dj eblin actually uh brilliant um and she was playing and my my mate who's who's a, who's a, a large guy was like, oh, I'm going to go and have a dance to this. He was the kind of guy that when he went out, what he'd do is he'd take his T-shirts, but he'd rip the sleeves off so it became yes. a vest. So he'd just rip, yes. he'd rip them oh, off and boy. then he'd just have a vest like on. me. So he went, he went up to the, to the barrier. Like, I don't know if, if any of you have been there, you can go kind of above the, the stage area on this barrier. And he just started throwing some shapes. Oh, no. And <laughs> he was there dancing and people were like, yeah, he's all right. He's like doing that. And then it got to the point where the real dancers were coming out. So they were like, "Oh, you got to go now." And he's like, "No, I've got it." And what started to happen? And how how was many? A massive how, how many? How many pints was he down at this point? Oh, we we were. I've still got the video somewhere. I'll show it. So he's going, and the professional dancer with his his lycra pants and his six pack and his things all tied, looking like the ultimate warrior, comes out. He's like, "Mate, you got to go now." I'm dancing, and he's like, "No." Nah. I'm dancing <laughs> so he's going he's going hey. so he's now having a dance oh. with this professional who who at the start like yeah whatever I'll show this guy how to do it suddenly realises that my mate's getting yeah, all the attention you've got to back the underdog all the time God. so then the bouncer comes up to get rid of him and as the bouncer takes him what I hadn't realised is that everyone on the dance floor had been watching this and starts booing the bouncer <laughs> oh my <laughs> god <laughs> <laughs> so then the bouncer had to let him go. You've got this professional dance that's having an absolute strop that's just like, well, I'm going. Oh and my he was God. Where, where, is, is where is he now? Is he still dancing? <laughs> he's, he's still, still dancing. there. Oh, he's still there. I'm gonna, <laughs> Nine years later, he's still there dancing. I'm going to find the video and see if I can post it, but it's one of the best things I've seen because this professional dancer just like, yeah, okay, mate, time to go now. You've had your fun oh, and no. it's completely backfired. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. And you telling that story, Max, just reminded me of, I can imagine the real. DJ turning up he was like, like yeah okay little nipper on you go on yeah you go. he did get a bit annoyed I think but yeah well, I, I took my chance I can't give it so you just absorbed all that knowledge basically a bit of YouTube I, took, I just took it all in kind of went wow. straight um, you know straight ahead every weekend like every time I came back from school I was on the decks I was practicing I was, I was learning what the different buttons do one, one by one um, and then finally only kind of mastered the art of mixing properly um, yeah, but like That's February, mad. March, March time, really. I can't believe properly. it. I've, I've, I don't know if I've told you this, but I've always wanted to be a DJ. That's yeah, been my dream. Know, it's these... been my dream. It's been my dream. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm... <laughs> Are you going to post no, some No, that's the first bit. I can't even get past that. Sound. I keep researching them and I just don't know where to begin. 
Why do you, where, did, where did this passion oh, of yours come from? It came Jimmy? from being a kid. Oh, I've lost sound. Can you hear me? I can, I hear, can you. hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you not hear oh, us? Oh. What's going on? Oh, hang on. He can, hang on. He can, he can mix, but he can't get his no, sound. Lo- we, lost, we, lo- we lost the signal. Are you back yeah, in? Yeah, I'm back in. I'm back in. <laughs> We've heard oh, you. Yeah. Oh, you we, uh, we've missed you. Missed loads. <laughs> you missed loads of amazing bits. <laughs> we just had some great content. Yeah. No, just so you can hear yeah, us. I yeah, can, I can, I can, I can. Jimmy was talking about his mixing. What are you going to do? You going to get some decks? I, out, well, Jimmy? I've always wanted to be a DJ, and and like I always use it to describe how hard it can be for someone who wants to start running. I've always said, look, it's the same as me as being a DJ. I've wanted to be a DJ all my life, and I've never started. You know, just do it. I I tell people to just run, but I have no idea how to start being a DJ, and. It all comes from being a kid in the valleys, and there was a guy there. His name was uh, DJ Doctor Midge, right? Midge, DJ Midge, <laughs> yeah. Shout out DJ Midge, DJ Doctor Midge. Yeah, I think it was DJ Doctor Midge. DJ yeah, Doctor Midge. Doctor Midge. <laughs> <laughs> was he? What? 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 <laughs> so many what, questions. What, what do you mean, Midge? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, what am I mean? I might be getting this wrong now because it's in the past. I can't remember. It's like a foreign country. Um, we'll just bring it. Just bring it. But he was like the he same age as us, and he seemed to have a house of his own. <laughs> I don't get it. It's <laughs> 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 well, because he was a high flying well, DJ, DJ and right. a doctor, and his front door would always be open, and he would just be DJing in his living room, and you just walk oh, in, mate. and you grab like cans of Strongbow from the bath, and then oh my god. <laughs> That is sick. <laughs> so, but he was a he was a he's a, hang on. Too many questions. He's a doctor. I don't know if he's, he's a actually DJ, a doctor. And he's and a, and he's a right, property this... developer. At tw- <laughs> and, and, <laughs> all at twelve years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like um, Judge Jules, where Judge Jules is an actual judge. You've got DJ Midge, DJ Doctor sure Midge. Is DJ oh DJ doctor. I'm sure it's DJ Doctor Midge. I can see the posters. Where is he now? Yeah, no. He yeah, posters. he had posters all over his body. He just <laughs> covered himself <laughs> in posters. On. So he used to play in his yeah, own house. Yeah, yeah. True. But he'd have posters to say he's playing yeah, in well, his own house. Yeah, well, how would you know he's playing in his own house if he didn't have a poster? Well, his neighbours are probably oh, kicking yeah. off. I think this the is count, the valleys. The council are going nuts. <laughs> this is the valleys. This is the valleys. Like This is the Welsh valleys. You can do what you want. You're fine. Yeah, to be fair. Can we find DJ? I would love to re. Yeah, Dr. let's Dr. try and Midge. find him. I need to reconnect with this man. I'm going to try and find DJ Dr. Need... Midge and see. Maybe Max, you could do a back to back. Maybe he can come on tour. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> right. I'm, after this, I'm going to go to the valleys and find him. <laughs> go to the valleys. Yeah, do it. Do it. Absolutely. So I am bas- basically, I'm very jealous because I wanted to be a DJ all my life. What would your DJ name be? Oh, I don't know. Um, DJ S- Screech. DJ Screech. <laughs> Dustin yeah, Diamond. my nickname in school was Screech because I had an afro and I was a bit of a cry baby, and all the girls oh. loved me. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? The, DJ, so Dustin Diamond, he passed he away. Did. He did. Max doesn't know who Dustin Diamond no. is. Yeah, from yeah. Saved by the Bell. Nah, no, nah. When I wake up in the it's morning, it's like Biker Grove or Suntans. Oh, I used to laugh. I, I no, think lost on him. Saved by the Bell. Yeah, he hasn't got a clue. Saved by the Bell, Max was. Mm essentially what all young boys used to watch because it had all of the good looking yeah. girls on oh, it oh no I have heard Save by it, the Bell I swear, I swear we've Save by the Bell yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I think so it does it does, it does ring tune, a bell well <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't intentional <laughs> you had all the all, all of the all of the kids in there were classically about 18 playing 12 yeah. year olds and um, AC Slater he was the jock yeah. What was the guy who's the main character? I don't know. I just all I cared about was uh, Screech because that was my nickname. I just had to look at what Screech did that day before I went to school, so I knew how big the bullion would be. Terrible. <laughs> he he he. After Saved by the Bell, uh, made a career in porn. Did he? Did you know that? <laughs> I did. Not, did I you did know not that? know that. Saved by the Bell end. There you go. So- <laughs> <laughs> That's why I imagine, like, oh, is that the equivalent of, like, Mr. Tumble going into porn? Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's the equivalent of uh, all um, the Teletubbies being into S&M. <laughs> Suddenly oh, rocking up in kinky. leather Teletubby suits with uh, paper the chips. chips the chips. The, yeah, the Chippendales. The Teletubbies. I like it. 
I right. like it. Max, hang on though. Because so, uh, there's more hang to on. you. There's more to you, Max. Let's slow down. So DJing yeah. for not even two years yet, I don't think. Or if it is... You've just booked your first gig. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Your first non-lockdown gig, right? Yeah, first gig. Or well, they've booked they, you, they should booked, we say. They've You've booked me. Booked I didn't actually, for the first time in a long time. Well, uh, when I first started out, or like first, 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 I was, I was like, like messaging people saying, please, can, yeah, okay, two weeks ago, can I, uh, can I come and play here? Can I come and play here? And they'd be like, yeah, yeah, we'll try and find you a slot. But basically the Shard got in, um, got in touch. And no. um, the Shard... Sorry. In London, <laughs> yeah, it's that big shiny that building, big old London, building. Jimmy. and they um, they DM me, and they st- the, the head of sales actually DM me, and then I said, um, oh, I ca- I, "Do you want to buy the shard?" Is, the That's problem is said. that I didn't know if it was genuine or not. That I was like, well, not, so like, not, I was so like "Hang on," I was like, "All right, I'll block you now." So thanks for the joke. There you go. Um, no, so yeah, they he sent me a message saying um, we'd be really interested in, in booking you for. Uh, for, for a gig and I'm, I'm like oh my god okay so I for I gave him my um, my manager's email and uh, <laughs> it literally they didn't stop going they just the ball kept rolling and they were like yeah we need, we're gonna get two dates and then this and this and this and this and this and this and then before you know it like three weeks of negotiation and I've got a, a gig on the 24th of July uh, which is at the, the very top of the shard the uh, rooftop <laughs> Um, floor 72 me that 24th, the speakers 24th, up to you. 24th of July and 7th of <laughs> August uh, yeah it's like a um, weekend warm up and apparently oh, uh, well today actually they've got um, today's <coughs> Tuesday they've got uh, a newsletter and a load of Instagram stuff going out on them but I announced it on Thursday and apparently both dates are pretty much sold out they've only got one type of ticket <laughs> left <laughs> I had I, I had an email I had it. an email yesterday saying we're playing a gig in Bristol and they've sold five tickets so far. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get close close? It's funny. I had an email this morning from a woman in Zimbabwe saying I'm a distant relative oh. to ten million oh, pounds. Up. So maybe, maybe yeah. follow, up, follow on up on that. that. Follow up. <laughs> I've been having a few of them like <laughs> That's so, been mate, real. The shard is unbelievable. Do you know what though? I've heard. I've I have heard something. Um, I haven't told you this yet, Max. But your um, warm up act is. DJ Midge. The guy from... Oh, yeah! <laughs> Can you imagine? Let's make it happen! I'll be there. I'll, I'll bring a bathtub full of cold cans oh, in the shard. Oh, hum, humming Punk's podcast, making oh, dreams come wow. true. Absolutely. Amazing. Yeah, mate. Shard, top of the That's shard. That, um, is, that is, honestly... I'm really, I hardly know you, and I'm so happy yeah. for you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's that weird. Is just it's incredible. For first, that's what my dad said to me. He was like, he said, "Well, your dad mates. said he hardly knows you." <laughs> 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 Son, yeah. I hardly know you, but I'm so he's happy for you. He said that a couple of times. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he, um, he, um, he said to me, uh, "I would expect your first gig to be in like a pub or a restaurant <laughs> yeah. or doing right. something else, not that's on the top happens. of the bloody." Yeah, that's what happens in the real world, Max. You exactly. <laughs> you go play gigs below dartboards. I was perfectly happy to do all of that, but then they came along yeah. and you know it might well, hopefully turn into turn into turn into something that it's I just an amazing yearly. that's just amazing though like honestly I'm, I'm buzzing for you it's amazing Thank you. yeah it's Jimmy how long were you how how you were an artist you were a touring yeah. artist uh, ever played the likes of no. the Shard no <laughs> <laughs> no I played we played in um uh, the Millennium Centre in Cardiff which is like a, a big theatre and we got booted off stage oh. uh, <laughs> for swearing Oh, uh, that's it's like a, just, an that's... opera house, and we we had the the plug okay, pulled on us, yeah. Right. So that, yeah. I think I threw a guitar at the grand piano then, and then uh, I ha- and then I then had a pee against the Welsh Parliament building, the Senate, and then the building started talking to me. There were speakers in there, so it was obviously like a little guy in the control room, and he was like, "Step uh, away from the building," and because I was drunk, I thought this building's talking, so I just peed all over it. <laughs> so I know I mean, so I will never common, common sense. It's... I will never. <laughs> Never. Do you know? Um, do you know what you've got here, Max? When you're like, when people are artists and they're like, "Oh, what was the first album you bought?" and they've got to try and sound really cool, haven't they? They're like, "Oh yeah, it was a bit of ACDC or it was this." No one never says it was S Club Seven. <laughs> they're like, "Oh yeah." Well, now in years to come, people will be going to Max. So, Max, can you remember the first gig you played? And he'll be like, "Yeah, the Shard." <laughs> yeah, nice one. Yeah, we'll move on. Well, That's amazing. Whatever, mate. Exactly. Don't get him it. back. He's a film. I love it. Um, so as well as playing the shard, uh, you've just launched your merchandise. Yes, yeah, merchandise is yeah. uh, is available now at Max Tyler Max Brilliant. Um, I know. Yeah, it's awesome. It's, it's it went down really well. So uh, 
it's it's now up to mum and I to to package millions of t-shirts and write notes and send them over to the people so it's that. it's amazing it's uh, gone down really well and there's been some amazing testimonials from mr jam and majestic and chris moyles that put them on the website yeah, brilliant. so yeah it's gone, it couldn't have couldn't have gone better but it's all yeah it's mad can we request if we get the note from you or your mum i mean is she writing <laughs> oh, i'm writing well? the notes <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you said you and Mama writing it. I was like, I'll have a t-shirt if I want a note from no, you, Mum. I'm, 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 the notes are coming specific, specifically from me. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> oh man. But so you mentioned there, though. You got. I mean, you got a decent following now um, of names. People, yeah. People behind oh, you, and right, and rightly so. I mean, people can see the talent that's there. Uh, you know, I've seen it for the last. You know, for last year at least now. No, it's, it's less than a year. Big, big name supporting less you. Less than a year. Less than a year. I, I, know, I can't even get the maths right in my it? head. Uh, it is so bizarre. And of course, the next thing now, um, Shard merchandise. It's got to be Ibiza, right? Yeah. Got to be. Oh man. I know a good dancer if you want. <laughs> <there. laughs> <laughs> We've literally kitted out your whole tour. We got dancers. You got we got warm up hats. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> This could be this could be the best tour in the world. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, could you imagine it? I oh, know, but yes, yeah, so Ibiza's the thing, really, isn't it? Cracking Ibiza now for you. Yeah, I think the plan from now is just to to do as much as I can in in the time that I've got. So this summer, I don't think any broad stuff is going to happen gig wise unless I get mm. booked, really. No, but um, do is I've got a lot of stuff happening in summer and into the you know into the end of the year. So if I can be as busy as possible, um, mm. and you know kind of gig as much as I can uh, get my name out as much as I can and then when I leave school which is just going to be June time really it's going to be yep. straight into uh, making more music I've got about three tracks on the go that I need to sit down and finish but at the moment it's balancing at A-levels and, and, and a career which nah, is man. I uh, think you should go hardest. straight to uni forget about this DJing thing straight to uni <laughs> straight to uni yeah I'm going to do a psychology course and a yeah. degree in law get an office job forget yeah. it man it's not working out for yeah. you no, no way it's not going to it's, it's not never going to work you know, quit I just track. had a thought though you, you are going to be DJing at parties at a time like no other when parties are going to mean more than they ever have. Exactly. That's the, it's, it's the best time to, to be out. It's, it's, it's going to be hopefully yeah. just absolute carnage. These parties will go down in history and you will be the man conducting them with music. That's what, what it's amazing, isn't it? You've reached, God's, you've reached God's status for some people now. That's yeah. what's going to happen. Well, Jimmy, I think I'm about to blow this even wider for you. Um, <clears throat> Max, as I mentioned, is a singer. Yeah. This grading in singing, isn't that right, yeah. Max? Is that, yeah. So you just a grade, ju- just what, got a uh, distinction in grade eight, which is the last grade <laughs> you can get. But I, I tell you what, it was an absolute. <laughs> does Robbie Williams have that grade? I mean, what? does, does he, It was an does absolute he... <laughs> ball ache getting it. So I did grades when I was a child. I missed oh. a couple. I missed a couple, so I just went on to like. So I didn't do five. Did six because I could just do six in the moment, and then yeah. um, did, 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 did eight. <laughs> did eight, and then um, came into school to record the oh. grade eight, and um, I did the whole thing. And then the, the you have to do it in one take because we do it online. No one's coming in to invigilate it. You do one take, and then uh, that's it. Because just you know to avoid. Um, to say that you know that so they can see that you haven't tampered with it yeah anyway, right, you yeah. Do, so hang on when you say one take so you've got to record it we've got to record it with video and with someone accompanying you on the piano and then you're singing five like foreign songs all in foreign? Yeah. oh yeah yeah italian french and then there's two english ones anyway so we did the first take and i finished and she goes oh, i'm really sorry i didn't press record <laughs> We've, We've been, been there, there, haven't we? <laughs> hey, does she want to so, talk with us? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I did that and then um, did a second take. Anyway, it came back that we couldn't, we couldn't use it. Anyway, <laughs> came back into school, did another COVID test. Came back into school. First take again, she does. Oh, I didn't press record. We have to do a second take. <laughs> we do a second take and then halfway through she pauses it because she forgets Ooh. there's another song. I'm not oh, going to name who it is. Oh so that's two. That's two. Reeve, that's two Reeve. takes down. Third take, w- she screwed up again. <laughs> so on the fourth take, Honestly. I'm coming into school when it was at home learning, doing COVID tests. Mum oh. drove me in. Mum drove me back. We finally got a fourth oh. practice round that I've been put, convinced to do a fourth one, and uh, yeah, finally got a, d- a distinction, which was wow, which was I amazing. But because this. 
this is this is we, we've not given this away to anyone. But this is our second recording of this podcast yeah. because um, technical issues. Someone's vocals didn't record. <laughs> not I don't know names. who that. To be fair, I don't know. I don't but, know. But let's put it this way: if the listeners were listening now um, <laughs> and thinking who sounds the most adapt with musical technology they probably wouldn't yeah. guess that it was the person yeah. whose voice did yeah. work but that's okay Max because the other week Jimmy and I did a 20 minutes worth of podcast before we realised that I'd forgot to repair <laughs> it happens it happens <laughs> <laughs> honestly but it's just nice no, honestly it's not fun it's a so, miracle great it's a miracle this thing finds its way on it's the internet a miracle. But every time I see it on the internet I can't I believe it's happened that it's actually got there so hang on grade 8 distinction we're still just chatting about Max we've got loads yeah, to we've got to move on oh, make it about me. Um, Christmas song yes you've written a Christmas what? song Christmas song's all written but no. I'm not I'm not releasing yeah. it until I know that it's going to be good for Christmas Christmas <laughs> for piano that's all ahead uh, that's I've got yeah I think I think winter's the time to release piano music which is what I can do which is what I can write and then summer yeah, and it does help with Christmas summer songs is EDM as well. and po- and uh, yeah. house house music you're which a musical is... chameleon <laughs> that is I've got a good one more thing before we move on I've got one more thing before we move go on go ahead um, <clears throat> wow you only want me yeah mad you yeah. are what mad you only want me, Jimmy. What do you mean? You only want me. You only want me. Well, <laughs> you only want me. For those, uh, Max, do you want to elaborate? You were, yeah. So you only want me uh, was my first ever track. Ah, right. Made. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were Back coming on last. to me then. <laughs> <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So that my, you only want me was my first ever uh, track ever made. Uh, started at school and then went to lockdown. Finished it on the computer just over there and um basically got it sent out and uh it, w- it went really well and within the first kind of hang on a minute now. I w- <laughs> I, you're really well it's probably number one in the charts or something well it was number two <laughs> 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 oh i'm gonna be sick i got vertigo i got you're vertigo go. previous <laughs> previous listeners of this <laughs> might, might recognize this um <sighs> it was uh, it was only pipped to number one oh. jimmy by gaff gate <laughs> <laughs> oh no honestly i got ta- i got talent oh. vertigo <laughs> no seriously yeah, yeah it was meant i got a call from um it got promoted a lot on the radio by uh Chris Moyles, the absolute legend, um, yeah. and it then just kind of went. The, the, I, I, oh. He said he sent me a text to look on the charts. So I was like, "Why?" And he goes, "Just look." And I'm like, "Oh my god, really?" And then it was like number 148, and Sky Full of Stars was 149 or something by Coldplay. <laughs> I was like, "Sick, <laughs> that's pretty cool." And then I put my phone down, had breakfast. <laughs> he rang me and said, "Look at the charts," and it was number two in. The, Dance charts and three in the overall. Wow, like, and ha- Harry Styles was five or something. I've heard of him to be on top of Harry Styles. I know, absolutely, mate. Is we could sit and talk all day about about no, you, let's carry on. but we're all getting. We're gonna. We're gonna. We've got so much to do. Um, so. Let's let's get this let's get this rolling. Number two, I, um, I can't I can't get my, honestly. <laughs> I can't get my head round it. You have no idea. I've I been know. playing in toilet size venues all my life. And I've never made it in the charts. You never made no, it in the charts? So. <laughs> we got to number one in the podcast oh, yeah. charts, Jimmy. We yeah, did do that. Fair. You count we that, did count do that. that. That's true. We, are. we count that. That's going on my CV, We are chart that. toppers. We are chart toppers. This is a room for yeah, the chart toppers. Exactly. Uh, I need to try and think of some routine here because I'm just getting caught up in Max's um, I f- prodigy. I feel like it's vanilla Let's sky. About- I feel like I'm living inside a simulation and, and Max is in charge. <laughs> I know, I know. Let's. Um, is anyone from DJ? I'm going to find him after this. As soon as this finishes, I'm going to find him. We should see if anyone okay. listening can tag, tag this. Tag I know. We, we've tried to start doing this. Yeah. yeah, using the power of our followers to tag people in and just generally annoy the hell out of them. Like, why have I got right. hundred people? Tag Great. Me? <laughs> so listen, um, as we all know, uh, we are not purely based around just mental health no. on this podcast. Um, people probably have the gist of that by now, since we've covered a lot of bases already. But we do always like to kind of make sure that we're we're aware of the five ways of well-being and that we're helping people to embed them in everyday part of their life. So we cover off these five ways of well-being. 
The first one, as we should all know by now, is to connect. Uh, us three lovely chaps connecting mm. right now, which is which is a beautiful thing. Uh, we've got changes to the lockdown rules now, which also means more people can yeah. connect outside yeah. in the snow. Yeah, uh, yeah. we're going to be active. Oh, we 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 should have eaten all the Easter egg chocolate by now. <laughs> Um, <laughs> get that word that was an emotional week yeah sorry so be active go yeah. for a walk whilst you're listening to this podcast go yeah. for a run do anything that you need to do so keep being yeah. active it's a very very important way to improve your mental mm. health to keep learning <laughs> we've learned a lot already I've learned I mean, that I'm useless today <laughs> you've, you've learned that we I've learned that a grade 8 uh, distinction in singing you need to uh, sing five different languages five different songs I think it's like I, I think it's three different three different languages you choose but it's like yeah it's ridiculous Italian, German, French yes. half the time I don't know what I'm singing just sing the words <laughs> everyone's like everyone's like Everyone's like, "How do you sing in foreign languages?" That's that's incredible. I'm like, I know, I baffle myself. I just sing the words. I don't yeah. know what they mean. And that's right. I'm like when I go to my I, wife's family house and they're all Welsh speakers. I just yeah. sit there. And I'm like, this is like a great. This is like a great yeah. distinction. Singing lesson. Exactly. You don't need to know what you're singing. Pavarotti. Pavarotti is from Clacton on Sea. Yeah, <laughs> um, we're gonna give. Uh, we always say to people, give, we, be, we get given lovely reviews, we get given lovely um, smiles in the streets whilst we're walking down the road by people now, high yeah. five us. <laughs> hey, you two, the guys from Hammond Punks. <laughs> You've had that, right, Jimmy? Yeah, I get that all the time. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely yeah. hassled. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and the final one, we're going to take notice. And this is the key one to the reason why we do this. We're going to take notice. Now, what's going to happen every week, listeners... Oh. It's that time again. We're going to give you the lyrics. We're going to give you the lyrics that will help you um, gain your five house points. Yeah. Still playing for those five house points. Yeah. So we're going to give you a lyrics. This is from an album out the same year as the album that Max recommended for us to listen to, and that year's 2020. Now. 2020. 2020. I don't know why I'm writing that down. This was only last year. <laughs> no. As we pointed out earlier, as we pointed out earlier, guys, this is our second recording, and and Max and Jimmy might be thinking, oh, I know this. I can't you remember. It. I can't it. remember. <laughs> Honestly, I can't. I can't. I can remember it. I can remember. Can it. you remember? I was thinking that. I was like, oh, I wonder if it's going to be the same one as last time. W- what was the last one? I can't remember it. It was last it one was, was Miley. No, so, it was Dua Lipa. Um, no, um, uh, Dua Lipa. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't show up, don't yeah. slow down, whatever. Yeah, like words. yeah, don't slow up, don't slow down. So we've got a different one uh, this week from the same year as Max's album choice, which is 2020. Uh. So, are we ready? Yes! Yay! Yes. Woo! Okay, here we go. <clears throat> prisoner, prisoner, locked up. Prisoner. Can't get you off my mind. Off my mind. Lord knows I tried a million times. Million times... Oh, woo! Why can't you? Why can't you just let me go? Oh God! I had that what? In the what? Nah. How I'm good was? How good was the? Oh, I'm woo. not playing this game anymore. That's honestly. part of it. Yeah, man. I know. I know. Prisoner, um, prisoner, locked up, locked up. <laughs> no, 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 mate. This may be why you don't know it. It's just one locked up. Oh, all oh, right. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know where. I know two. That's, that's where you must take the prisoner locked yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Can't get you off my mind. Off my mind. Lord knows, I've tried a million times. A million times. Ooh. Oh bloody hell! I have it. Why do you know it? Why no, know it? I know. Why I know. I know what it is, but I can't. I can't process it. I have no idea. So as always, I'll be dropping hints all the way through. In fact, I've already given one. Um, we will keep going. So if you know it, keep it to yourselves. Five house points. We share it yeah. at the end. By now, people's tallies should be pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. See, I should feel we, like that um, was a clue. Should we move on to... Pretty good, though. I feel Did like you? Every, everything um, now, everything you see, I think, is a clue. Everything exactly. I say right, is a let's clue go. Now. Oh, hang on, what's that? Yeah, do you know... I let's know, it's, see? Yeah. On edge. Am I? Am I on edge? This is why... It's not meant to be on edge. This is where you're meant to take notice. You're meant to be alert of what's going on. I've got a map beyond because I keep peeing myself. I keep thinking you're leaving clues <laughs> and I get excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Mate. Right, let's let's stop this. Come in like a wrecking ball. Oh, minute. oh, that's a um, clue. That's got to be a clue. That is a clue. That yeah, is so that's out it. of out of context. Ridiculous clue. You gotta be careful, Max, man. These clues are too big. Have you never listened to this podcast before? Everything we talk about is out of context. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, yeah. let's talk about Max's album choice. <laughs> he, he Max, Max I guess he Max is, is singing. I'm too busy and trying to sing the song. <laughs> I can see him. Yeah, so we've uh, well, I've chosen uh, "Dark Matter" by Camel Fat. Yes, it's there. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it's their first ever album because um, they've done a load of yep. singles their first ever album it's the, one of the longest albums I think I've ever seen in my life <laughs> Absolutely. it's a long one every, every it's track long. It's a long every one. track is different every track is ama- like amazing yeah. it's, it's mastered to perfection it's yeah. not one genre at all it's, it's completely yeah. mixed so yeah I chose this um, big, up, big up the camel it's, fat really mm. do you know um, uh, um, where the name camel fat came from yeah, I believe you do. Kind of, do you I th- want to share th- th- and I've, I've, <gasps> it was. Um, and it was Mike's birthday yesterday. It was from Camel Fat. It's Forty. Yeah. Also, oh, he's old. was he? My dog had her birthday yesterday. I as saw. Well. <laughs> oh, dear dog. How was yeah. it? <laughs> Mike, Mike yeah, Descala oh, from Camel Fat and Ian's dog. It should go. It's like and DJ also, Major um, and me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What I like is that there's also someone else's birthday yesterday, someone hugely important, uh, the other co-director and founder of oh, We John. Bird, John Logue. But notice how he just gets third oh. place behind my dog and Mike. <laughs> yeah. don't, even, don't even know Mike, and your dog's an animal, and John's the person that you've been with for about, what, five, ten years? <laughs> Oh, oh dear me. Yeah, so tell us where the name Camel Fat came from. So they were in an, in, they were uh, in an uh, interview uh, in Dubai, yeah. and... Um, <laughs> I think they were asked the question and Dave literally they're, they're both Scousers Dave was like um, uh, they, we, we, were, we were riding some camels and uh, we were it's just, so hard to, it's, it's not, so hard it's now so not to do a Scouse scouse impression we're we'll, we'll looking at some camels see you later some camels <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we were looking at some camels and uh, and then Mike just said oh I love camels and um, they said camel and then the fat he, Mike was I think Mike was a bit fat and they turned the F into a PH to make it sound streetwise wow. literally camel fat They're, obviously it's probably a much more truthful story than that um, but the camp definitely it's got something to do with with a camel um, <laughs> and uh, and um, the, I so like you, people just overcomplicate things they most oh well, was it on some spiritual journey you found your name so, no we just yeah, saw a camel went that's sick we'll have that that's fat, wow. man, that's sick. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Tell us about how you come up with your DJ name, Max. Well, it's just Max Tyler, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was MXT for a while. It yeah. was MXT for MXT. a while. But then my dad said, you've got a good name to so just stay. Yeah. Stick, stick out your what name. What was the X? What was the X? Why was it MX? Max. Just ed- Max it was edgy, T. wasn't it? MXT, M- yeah. That, it yeah. sounds like just something you get lime scale off a just tile. Replace <laughs> oil that you put in your motorbike. Repla- repla- <laughs> replacing, uh, just replacing the, the middle na- the, mid- the middle initial of my name. So just put an X in it. I like it. I, p- I like Max Tyler. It's much, 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 better. much better. So yeah, Camel Fat. I told you we were going to be uh, with Young Blood today, didn't I, Jimmy? Fat. P-H-A-T rather than yeah, F-A-T. I exactly. I know. Fat. So Camel Fat, um, great album, long, as you mentioned. Jimmy, you go first, yeah. as always. This is your... Have you had a haircut, Jimmy? I've totally shaved it off. So random. Yeah, I just noticed Ooh. that from under your hat. Sorry, listeners. Wow. I bicked it. Yeah, I bicked it. Yeah, I can see. I can see. Oh, wow. I like that. That, that. that suits clean. you. Yeah, that I know, does. But it's, um, it's a bit too bright, so I'm going to put my hat back on. <laughs> Hey, I yeah, that. yeah, I totally Morning. bicked it. I've been bicking it every day for three days now in the shower. I just go in the shower, wash my face, and I end up just shaving all the hair off my head. Yeah. Nice. Did right. you do that when you were a runner? So you go I faster? did actually, yeah. The skinhead was like part of my look. And the only time I didn't have a skinhead was when I ran at the World Champs and I ran better than ever. And then I still started shaving it after. <laughs> so there you are. Yeah, I used to, What? This is weird. This is probably really boring. But what I do is, I, if I'm about to embark on a journey, I shave my hair. And then I let my hair grow throughout the journey. So, like, for the World Championships, I shaved it when I started training for it. And then by the time I got there, I had lots of hair. So, what I'm, what I'm saying wow. is I'm training for something now. And you meant to like, what are you training for, Jim? What are you training oh, for? Oh, I'm doing a London for? Marathon in October. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think it's Woo. October. I don't know. I'm going to turn up in October. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. I shaved October. my hair, so I'm like, let's get some proper training done. Just to... Yeah. Of course. Yeah, lots of. Oh, cool. I, I, I want to talk about something you've got going on, but I don't know if I can. What's that? Oh, yeah, um, we can. Well, yeah, do it. Can quick, we? Yeah, do it quickly if you want. 
Go on then. Go. What you is go. It? The floor is. Well, the, the, the beginning uh, of N. Beginning of what? Oh N. no, that's that's too early stage. But there's um, okay. filming on a documentary about my life starts today. That's a true story. I'm about after this. Filming. I'm gonna go meet somebody, and we are making a documentary about my life. Um, but there's yeah. also uh, talks of something for Netflix in the pipeline as well. We're running from some stuff. So. <laughs> How yeah. crazy is that? I'm so out of depth That's on this uh, podcast. Yeah, it's bonkers. It's bonkers. But um, yeah, the Netflix one is super early days. But this uh, mm-hmm. documentary is like it's quite far along. So as in like the, the people are down here today to do some filming. So... <laughs> That's quite... So where are you going to start with this journey? I mean, this is... Where do you even start with the story I, of your life? My birth, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, that, that would be a good place to probably start yeah, at, I, at the birth. Is DJ Midge going to feature I'm going to find him. I, he needs to be in it. Definitely. He can be my coach. He needs hang to on. have a cameo. Yeah. But hang on, mate. Listen, I've already got this nailed down. So, because I've, we've been on a bit of a life journey. So you've got your birth, your childhood, yeah. um, running... Yeah. Having a stalker. Yeah. Um, what? Yeah, that was that oh, was Easter Max, special. If you, what a t- we can't. Well, this was the last podcast, Max. I mean, I know you've heard them all, so you should. Be <laughs> I've able listened to, to every one, but that last one. Oh, you need to listen. To it. Yeah, you need to yeah. listen to it. Yeah, that's the best. So uh, your stalker can feature yeah. purchasing a BMW One yeah. Series can feature <laughs> Mint. having kids, getting married. Um, <laughs> DJing at an early age will try and DJ. <laughs> Always and wanting to be a DJ, yeah. Um, then you can add in the other stuff, like being a runner, being in yeah, a band. You know, get the fundamental pillars yeah. in there of life. I think, I think the one we are uh, shooting at the moment is about the change from like professional athlete to man in band and then back to running so I think the, the like I've had, lots of people get in touch they want to make stuff do you know what I mean they want to make stuff and mm, doesn't happen <laughs> and I, I'm <laughs> funny about it for someone who, who films so much of his life I'm really funny about other people doing it I, I feel really like not uncomfortable but it makes me nervous puts me on edge and this yeah. guy his name is Matt he's come down from London we've had lots of Zoom meetings and I really like his ideas and I like the films he's made before so um, I've said, yes, let's do it. Let's do it. And his focus is on basically like the journey, like what happened to me as a person between going as a professional athlete to be someone in a band yeah. and then like going teetotal and trying to get healthy again. He's fascinated in that. And that's, that's something I think people can learn from. So that's why I'm keen to make that. But there is nice. one other thing. There is one other thing, which is a world exclusive. Oh, I've, God, yeah. I've Great. got the lead in a short film, a uh, comedy called Bald, which is going to be shot up in Manchester soon. Sick. <laughs> Who's that with? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, um, I, I, yeah, wow. it's based on a comic. The comic's amazing. The creator who made the comic and uh, a friend of mine, Luke, who's a Luke Bader, who's like a film director, a music video director. He's like, we want to make this film. We're going to make this into a film. We've had funding for it. And uh, the creator of the comic wants you to be the main guy. Um, can we do Ooh. it? So yeah, Sick. I'm a bit blown away. I know by this. it's all this... going on. It's just bonkers, mad. Yeah, what? I know. Wow, I feel like we shared stuff. Now is not the time to be sharing that on a podcast live. I don't. I feel yeah, like I don't well, know you maybe yeah. I I broke the fourth wall. <laughs> Someone asked me if I wanted to write a book. The yeah, what do you say? I've, I've got. I do not know what I've written. <laughs> Words. You I put words on there. Words. But, yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. Sorry, and listen, let's yeah. talk about Bloody words. Yeah. Give me your. No, that was my fault. I completely went off. Uh, I feel, listeners, we've been going 43 minutes. We're going to hit an That's hour fine. today. Let's do easy, it. All day long. Happy Sorry, day. Everyone. Let's do it. This is going to be our world world longest ever podcast. Um, three words, Jimmy. As always, okay. you go first. Your three words for camel. Okay, fat, here we go. Dark matter. So, here I've, I've, go. I've listened to this running a lot of times. Um, I listened to it in the house. Yep. My son loves it. And uh, my first yeah. word is nocturnal. Yes. Beauty. Yeah. Beautiful it's, word, nocturnal. It's a very kind of nighttime feeling album. And it, for me, it describes the world a darkness. And the darkness yeah. is like, ooh, so I've like almost it. got infrared goggles on. Ooh, I can see that. I know what's going on. Ooh, I, <gasps> I saw that. Hey, I can see what you're doing. Um, then my yeah. second word is uh, synesthesia. 
Sorry, come again? <laughs> yeah, that is synesthesia. Oh, my God. Synesthesia. S Y N E S T H E S I E. Do you know Alexa, what that is? What is <laughs> synesthesia? It's like, um, so 11, a few people wow. have it. So, like, have you heard of the writer Vladimir Nabokov? A Russian writer, he wrote Lolita and stuff. He had it, and it's when certain words will have a colour. Is it new No, it's like, um, it's when, say you hear something, so it's when one sense triggers another sense, so, so like a, sen- a secondary sense, which is not related. So you can hear <laughs> something, like some people could hear something, and then they, they could taste something. So, for example, mm-hmm. I can hear Terry Wogan's voice, and I will taste beef flavour crisps for the rest of my life. <laughs> so that's what ah, okay yeah okay, synesthesia is like when one sense randomly triggers another one so Nabokov yeah, had it yeah. with words like words with different colours for him so when he wrote yeah, he tried yeah. to make each page look really colourful and some people say that's why he's ah. such a good writer but this music for me like I, d- I could feel like I had it on speakers I had on headphones and the music was washing over me like some kind of purple dream it had that kind of like colourful feel to it Okay. All right. Oh, just okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> and then <laughs> that was probably the most in the depth. That, yes. Because <laughs> I can't repeat it. I can't repeat synesthesia. it. Back. I, I, synesthesia. Do you know what? It's synesthesia. One of the words I've never actually synesthesia. said. Synesthesia. I've just written it and read it. Synesthesia. Like uh, Roots Maneuver's synesthesia. got it. You've heard of Roots Maneuver, uh, right? Yeah. He's got yeah, it. Yeah, he yeah. can see uh, music coming out the speakers in colours. Wow, okay, okay, sold. I love it. I told you we yeah. learn on this podcast, didn't I, Max? Didn't exactly. I? You, can't learn this at, you can't learn this at college. My third word no. is, I kind of touched on it with Nocturnal, but topography. So each song seems to map a landscape. Do you know what I mean? Like I can listen to it, particularly on headphones, you listen to it and it's like you can feel the landscape that that music is describing. I don't know, I can't, it's, it's magical like that. And it reminds me of, yeah. Okay. I hate this because my words is like my words. You can, you can bef- add up all the letters in my before. words, and then still, <laughs> yeah, they'd still not have as many. Mate, I love that Quality. nocturnal synesthesia yeah. and topography. Well, like the, the podcast is going on now. Do you know what I mean? So I'm settled into my role. I I, 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 I see it as a responsibility. Good. I'm glad to you do these big words too. I'm glad you do because I'm now looking at the page full of words that I've got. And, uh, Plastic crayon. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I knew it. Tunes. Job. <laughs> bangers. Bangers. I like it. Okay. Thanks. I like it. So, well done, mate. Look, yeah, I, I don't even know where you start with these words. Where do you find them? They're not in your everyday vocabulary. Well, not Because I talk to you every day and I know they're not. <laughs> yeah, but that's, we don't, well, we communicate. So I have to. I have right. to speak a come yeah, down yeah, to my do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> when I speak to my nutty professor neighbour, that's when I drop words like nocturnal and drop the yeah. in, yeah. Okay. Um Right, okay, well then let, let's move on to mine. I mean I know Great. why not. Great. Right? I, 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 um, <laughs> mm. Drum roll please. Ah. <laughs> mm. oh. Let's start with <laughs> Defibrillator. Defibrillator. Oh, wow. Defibrillator. Yeah, man. Like a shot of yeah. energy for you, right? Love there it. you go. I can, I can match yes. your words. Defibrillator. It's not, there's not energy coming out of defibrillators. It's not like... So you there, you, you put it on. I too listened to it a lot. I listened to it this morning again whilst yeah. running. Um, I've got a lot of favourite songs yeah. on that. Cola, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Uh, Panic Room. I'm a big fan of this album, yeah. actually. Big, big fan. So, yeah, the Fibrillator, first one, gives you that shot yeah. of energy, get you back yeah. to life, up and pumping. Yeah. Uh, second word, moped. <laughs> <laughs> the Fibrillator. Sorry, moped. did you not quite hear me? Mopeds, like, for me, just Brilliant. cruising around on a moped, yeah. but in different ways. So, <laughs> like I'm, not, I'm probably not backwards. Far. Backwards. Yeah, I think... <laughs> I think it's probably just another way of just saying the same word that you said topography yeah. for because it, it's a moped so sometimes I'm in inner city London it's late at night it's drizzly you, your lights are on you're swerving in and out so the music's taking me on this totally. inner city and then 
I'm in Greece yeah. on an island. I've got shorts on and a yeah. t-shirt. It's boiling hot, and I'm just pootling around on a moped overlooking Acropolis, oh, and it's just is... background music. So yeah, top moped. Great. It is. Do you know what? Easier. I did laugh when you said yours because yeah. it is. Yeah, the same. it is. It is. It is. <laughs> I'm on the back of your moped with a map, and you're 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 right yeah. there. Yeah. And we're just putting on, and then as we get to like, as we get to the top yeah. of the Acropolis, and we're looking out over the Aegean yeah. Sea, we've got we've got cola yeah. playing behind us, and we're like, yeah. Well, then we and I'm like, see? where's the cash point? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you owe me money. Um, and then my third word. Uh, come on, come on. Graphics. Yeah, yeah. Now, what I mean by the graphics, <laughs> again, uh, it's not too dissimilar to the moped, mm. but it's almost like I, I felt very video game like. Like it should be the soundtrack for Grand Theft Auto, or you know when you used to get them and you just list the music. You'd be like, "Well, this music on this this game yeah. is awesome. Who is it?" And no one ever knew back then, you know, because it wasn't released. It was just video game music. Yeah. So yeah, I, I thought a lot of this could could work on on that subject. It's very visual, isn't it? Like you do yeah, listen yeah, to yeah. it and you do see stuff. Yeah, which yeah. is amazing. Some of the lyri- lyrics are about visuals as well, isn't it? There's a lot of visual lyrics. Yeah, you know I mean. It's, uh, I think it's and the an album's called right Dark right Matter, which is something you can't see. Think about oh. it, man. Think about it. What, oh, what name? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's called Dark Matter, it's all, it's which is what tri- you can't see. But then yeah. when you listen to it, you keep seeing you can stuff. See everything. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> wow. Jeez. Okay, Max. I don't know how you're going to follow. I mean, you might be the super talented one when it comes to music. Yeah, but just English but vocabulary. I think you could be in trouble there, mate, because uh, I think Jimmy and I have wrapped this right, up. Right, well, let's see, let's see if I can come out with anything. So the first the first word is ecstatic. Yeah. yeah. Some of the songs ecstatic. make you go absolutely mad. The, the reaction to the yeah. crowds when they drop it in their sets, expe- especially Cola and Panic Room, the ones yeah. that people yeah. all around the world know. It's like with any sort of song where you play the first two seconds of, of a song or or three seconds like I'm li- like losing it by Fisher yeah. you know that you know oh, you know yeah. that's the song and everyone goes mental for it so I put ecstatic yeah. as the first kind of describing word for that yeah I totally like that. second ecstatic. word is drone yeah. I can imagine a, a, um, a music video shot with a with a really good drone following yes. them around yeah. over the hills pan, panning following me and Jimmy on the yes. moped yes <laughs> yeah oh my god we found it See, me and Jimmy are just there. I've got the hair blowing back because I've got long, luscious hair. And then Jimmy's got his skin. Go around the corner <laughs> and bang. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, bang. We're under, we're under a milk truck. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Um, <laughs> Sounds like a great holiday. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the second one. The yeah. third one is defying. Yeah, uh, I think it yes. defies all the odds for the, what their album was going to be. I think it def- it defies, uh, as I said earlier, the the set genre that people think albums should have. It yeah. completely mixes it up. You've got house, you've got deep house, you've got trancey stuff, but then you've got also really kind of um, slow slow stuff as well. So there's a it, it kind yeah. of defies any yeah. any rules really about what their music making should I, be. I found out with like the vocal guests they were really surprising for the type of music that they were singing on yeah. like I didn't yeah. expect like yeah. the one with Jake Bug was it this is the one with Jake Bug Jake Bug Jake Bug yeah. that's a bit yeah. big song yeah. what is it yeah. um, it's near yeah. the start isn't it be, be, be someone yeah that's yeah it. that's the one and it's like it's really his, surprising it's his, to hear him just slot seamlessly into a song his voice like though isn't it it's yeah. just so where yeah. um, do you know what I've, I've got an interesting question for this where, where does album 2 what does that look like for Camel Fat? This is an interesting one. Is it as is it as long? Is it going to be? I think they're just going to as powerful I, as this They're one? just going to wait and soak up all the cash from this album yeah. <laughs> because they will make an absolute ton. Yeah, and they will get a load of publicity from it, like they already have. They'll just carry on playing all the songs when they go live. I don't. I don't know what. Are they big then? Like because I I'd never heard of them. They're huge. Yeah. They're, they're, they're I love massive. Camel Fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's um. I, I wonder this where well there's some artists you like straight away like yeah I can see multiple albums and I'm not saying Camel Fat can't have multiple albums I'm just really curious to see yeah. whether they completely mix up album number two or whether it follows the same kind pattern. of pattern as or this one or they just one. do sing, singles um, and mm, EPs yeah. and all that sort I just of don't know what to expect it's strange like because you know, my, my I, I don't have a lot of history with dance music I get, and I guess the only 
bands I can think of that are similar would be like Basement Jacks, uh, Chemical mm-hmm. Brothers. Do you think this could be why you never made it as a DJ? Because <laughs> <Yeah>, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like the music. <laughs> but it's just like, the, the Basement Jacks, w- w- their albums would be quite conventional. They'd be like 45 minutes, 50 minutes yeah. long, and they would have like yeah. pop songs with like obvious verse chorus structures but this one is just totally different it, it just feels like you've experienced a whole night out listening to it or mm. and yeah. yeah like you say well probably because you have been out for the whole night yeah it's but so it's long. like how do you follow that <laughs> how do you follow something yeah. this massive yeah yeah it's, it, yeah curious. totally I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be following this these guys and I'll see what they do Mac ooh. you're right there <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. Max, um, what are your thoughts on your album then? Because obviously you say about three tracks. Have you started thinking about albums yet, and what that looks like for you, or is it? I don't know. Be I think just quite a way down the line. I don't know. I don't think album yet. I think more EP sort of stuff. So like three yeah. tracks yeah. that people can uh, listen to. But I just need to. The problem is that I'm trying to. I, w- I want to just go full head and sit down for a day or day two days mm-hmm. three days just finish a song but you know everything so many things happen i've got to got to do this last yeah. you know work for for a levels and then when that's finished it's completely out of the way i can focus completely on music and i'm only 17 so i'm literally i'm going to be 18 in june so when i leave school i'll be 18 yeah. i'll be able to just hopefully get a lot more music <laughs> out and then by 20 years old i'm aiming to be i'm aiming to be up there really yes. with a lot of yeah. yes do you, need, do you need Maybe. do you need a punk vocalist to guest on any songs? Yes. Um, yes. You could sing it, oh, yeah. What? You could sing. Well, it. I've sung on albums. Yeah. I'm. Uh, what grade would you be? <laughs> Minus eight. <laughs> Minus eight. <laughs> uh, Max, I think that you should come to Greece uh, with me yeah. and Jimmy when we're on our mopeds, and we just spend a week. What's wrong with you, mate? Going? You get. <laughs> I'm, going I'm only a puppy. Again. I'm only a baby. My voice is breaking. Um, yeah, we're just sitting in Greece in the sun and make yeah. music. All us free for a week. That could be a oh, good let's album. Just do it. Let's do it, man. Best creativity. That could be an amazing. Best creativity album. and an excuse to go on holiday. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Oh. Absolutely. So we've all done our words. I don't think. They're that different. No, no they're all, they're I mean, all they've all been the put same. across in different ways, but I think I think they're pretty pretty. That, slim, talk, right? that yeah. really shows how magical the album is. Really, you know what I mean? If I enjoy it, if we can uh, all listen to the same album, we all come away with kind of the same ideas. That's, yeah. that's yeah. great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah. When did your um, thesaurus subscription run out, then, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> Love oh, that. it's alright. I use it online. Yeah. 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 <laughs> The s- syn- synonyms, isn't it? It's just other yeah. words for other yeah, words. Exactly. Other words for it wasn't, because. wasn't for this one though. This one, those were just words I knew, which is you know I usually tell you I've had to Google a word, but I I knew yeah, those. Yeah, there it is. Fair enough. I, I know. know. So listen, uh, let's let's keep this show rolling. I might try and keep this to under an hour oh. because you know let's we're on. You worry too minutes, much, so like just not, it, like. I, I, I don't worry too much, but people have got stuff to do. People have got stuff to do. That's they don't true. need to listen to us three That's all day true. long. Um, <clears throat> the lyrics then from 2020. Do you want to hear them yeah, again? Say, 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 it, say it again. Say it again. Go on, go on then. Just for the okay. wee bit. Prisoner. Prisoner. All right, start again. Sorry, Sorry. interrupt me again. Prisoner, prisoner, locked up. Can't get you off my mind, off my mind. Lord knows I tried a million times, million times. Oh, <laughs> Why can't you? Why can't you just let me go? I know. I know the artist based on your clues. Do you yeah. though? What? How do you know I've not been throwing some red Hemmings? Hemmings. <laughs> <laughs> red Hemingways. How do you know I haven't been throwing some red <laughs> Ernest Hemingways? Um, do you know the problem when you do a podcast is as soon as the wrong word comes out of your mouth, you know you've done it. You know you've said it, and you know yeah. you're exposed. I know. Right. Max, do you know who it is? Oh, it's so He's probably I produced don't. it. Max is probably working with I've him now. Got... <laughs> <laughs> I co-wrote it. No, I, I, um... You've got a girlfriend, Matt. Max, are you, are you dating? Dating, no. You haven't got time no, for that. I haven't got time. I've got Look to, what I've to We started dating and now we've got families. Don't do it, Max. I oh, know. No, I'm, wait, I'm, wait, I'm waiting. <laughs> waiting, not dating. Oh, I like that. I, I, I reckon you could be on Slebs Go Dating soon. Oh, no. Not that way. Max, Wayne Lineker. <laughs> Yeah, he was on there recently. Anyway, look, what is it? Let's not look, get down this rabbit hole. Hey, what's I, I, the, that what's the off artist? my mind, off my mind. I can. Is it? Is it? Um, good boys. No, this, I have no idea what we're talking heart? about now. Right, artist Jimmy I, I, Miley Cyrus. Yes. 
Obviously with the Wrecking Ball clue. Yes. Absolutely. Now, I'll be honest with you, 2020 was quite a tough year for albums, as you can imagine, because mm-hmm. everyone was in lockdown. So whilst it was only last yeah. year, it was quite a tough one. Lewis Capaldi would have been a great one, but he was late uh, 2019, so he didn't fall into the category. So Miley Cyrus... There were some big albums last year, I thought. Lady Gaga yeah. brought one out. Absolute yes, she bang, did, yeah. and she was going to be an option that uh, I was going to go for, but I didn't. Absolutely an amazing album, that is. Miley Cyrus... Miley she did Cyrus, like there's album. a rock and roll album, isn't it? There's like there's uh, quite a few rockers on there. Plastic, Plastic Hearts, Hearts, yeah. Plastic Hearts was the album, Miley Cyrus, and the song was well. I gave you, I gave you the song lyric multiple, multiple times. Sorry, I gave you the song name at least eight times. What? Well, if you haven't yeah. listened to it, I suppose you're not really going to get it because you could say anything. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Max. <laughs> <laughs> I've, it's on. Prisoner it's Prisoner Prisoner featuring Dua oh, Lipa Dua Lipa I knew again. it was what? the Dua Lipa I yeah, knew it was Dua I Lipa I kept it in I kept uh, the link in there uh, 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 and, the, and the, the song was Prisoner which I said uh, twice at the start of each time I read you the, <laughs> the text uh, <laughs> I know that song as well I've heard that song but you I love it I just know, literally announced know. the song title before we, even though we thought that was in the lyrics <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> didn't that, I, I just, got a load of and do you know what's even funnier right at the start when we were talking about what album we did I said oh we got Miley Cyrus and then oh, I quickly you went oh it was Dua Lipa <laughs> yeah. oh my god see we just don't pay enough attention oh my you god you guys do yeah. not take notice oh. <laughs> <laughs> Max oh is devastated <laughs> Max is logged off do you know this whole game just came about one day when I was going for a run thinking how can we fill an hour of a podcast for I know I'll do some lyrics yeah. and this has got to be the main it is of, uh, it is podcast. like this is the thing I get the most messages about um, like when the one went out on yesterday people like, I can't believe you've never listened to the AAS I can't believe you didn't know that yeah 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 so yeah, yeah. it's either you get yeah, out, you yeah. get abused for not listening to music yeah. people yeah. know or you get congratulated so it's a it's a it's, tricky it's one. like life oh. max <laughs> I will be <laughs> I'm preparing you for life I will be honest I wouldn't want to be doing this Jimmy I wouldn't get any of these right I know I wouldn't so um, yeah. it's very easy to be sat here all smug when I'm the one making them up so um, I think that's it right we've, we've had we've had anything else anyone wants to cover off um, have we found DJ Mitch I'm going to get on a hunt no I'm going to find him and I'm going to message him yeah let's find him after this I'm going to message him. Max, will you let him do a set with you? (laughs) Yeah, possibly. (laughs) (laughs) He can warm up. He can warm up. Depending on how old he is. How old is he? Probably, what, 30? He's the same age as me, so he'd be... At the rest? He's the same age as us. 38, 39. 36. 38. I remember when... um, So, like, when we were kids, it was when Eminem first came out and Dr. (sighs) DJ Midge was the first one to like bleach his hair like Eminem like none of our parents would let us but he just did it anyway and it was Cause did, they, did, did he just not have, was he his own parent I think that, so I don't really oh. know like, he, oh my is god is he like Benjamin Button <laughs> yeah. he, had, he had the bleach blonde hair and oh just what a guy like he's my hero he's, he's my hero I did that I must I must. I remember going to a hairdresser's when I was still at school so mid 90s um, <clears throat> and I took a picture with me of Andy Townsend <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> now this is when this. <laughs> oh, this is when Andy Townsend had um, highlights. Yeah, and I took a picture in, and I said, "I want to look. I want to look like that." And so they, um, and and it was the funny thing was I'd obviously gone to my mum's hairdressers because it was the full shower cap, pluck the hair oh through, my yeah, god. and then paint it. And um, it's not very good because I've got naturally blonde hair anyway, <laughs> like in the sun. So he couldn't even tell anything. So yeah, I Jesus. Did, Andy I just took a picture of a thumb in. I said, "Cut my hair so it looked like a thumb." <laughs> 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 oh, guys, it's been beautiful. Yeah. So um, thank great. you so much. As always. Thank you to our sponsors, Sure, yeah. for all the support and help that they give us. It's absolutely fantastic, and we wouldn't be here without them. So, um, <laughs> you got them yeah. to thank. Send me some running <laughs> headphones, Sure. Yeah. Send me some running headphones. That's sure, I'd love oh, a new Jimmy, mic. Jimmy, you can't just. What? You can't. Go, whoa, 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 guys, you can't what? just start I doing this. I want running headphones. Send them over. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ! The ones that got Ian's, Ian's going to get an email after this saying we've lo- we've 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 loved we've loved we've loved working with you, uh, but I think it's time. To... The time's now no, come joking. to get your own place. It's been absolutely beautiful. As always, thank you everyone for listening yeah. and for for sharing and liking. Remember, you can send your reviews in. Um, keep keep tagging us, posting stuff. Mm. Max. Thank you, mate. It's an absolute yeah. oh, it's pleasure, pleasure to, to be on. You. Thank you so uh, much. Looking forward to chatting to it's... you in two weeks' time when you're an astronaut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just career change every month, and I'll surprise you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> mate, we wish you all the best. Obviously, we speak to you constantly as we're going through, but yeah. all the best of everything that's coming on. And Thank um, you. everyone, yeah. thanks so much. Send in love. Take care. Take care, everybody. Have a great week, and we'll Love speak you, to you bye. soon. Love you, bye. 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 Oh, the amazing Max there. How much fun was that? It was really good fun, but then I do feel like a worthless bag of skin and bones. <laughs> <laughs> You've either got it or you I ain't, know, right? I know. And what, what people can't tell as well is just how good looking the guy is. He's got everything. <laughs> He's got everything. He has. I know. It blows my mind still there. I know. We didn't do hard, him hardly any justice, even though we spent 35 minutes talking about yeah. him. Um, I, I know him really well. I've known him, like I said, well, feels like an eternity, but only since June. And um, I know so much about him. Like I said, the, the work he does on the piano, and there's so many snippets of songs that he's making. Yeah. And um, like on, on WhatsApp, and I just hear it, and I've been like, oh, God. He, he's probably the one person who I think I could I can honestly believe in, in, in five years' time will be a real the, you know the next big thing yeah. people will be clambering over him yeah. and we'll look back and listen to that podcast and think how the hell did we get him <laughs> you know when when people are when people are trying to get him and he's the next Lewis Capaldi but of the dance world you know and we're just like yeah you know yeah I was like how the hell did I show that superstar my bald head on a Zoom call <laughs> He's such a nice guy. He's so amazing. Yeah. And, and obviously being an ambassador of Weir Hummingbird is, um, is phenomenal. Yeah. He's, he's so talented though. I know. That's the thing, like if you know someone who's that talented for a short space of time, it's going to feel like forever because yeah, I yeah, bet he's done yeah. so much stuff since you've known him in July. Oh, it's phenomenal. Really? Like it's it, the, the amount of times we, you know, we chat and he's like, oh my God, I've just had a conversation with da 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 or da 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 or yeah. these guys just got in touch and it's like, oh, what another. Amazing. Level. But he's so, um, he's so uh, level headed and that's such an amazing thing. Yeah. You know? And because I felt like I, I mean, I, I hardly know him and I feel so happy for him that everything's happening. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That yeah, cause, yeah, just because totally. how he comes across when you talk to him, he just seems yeah, so honest yeah. and, like you say, yeah, level headed and just just like a real nice person. The other thing that's really nice, he's got a lovely family. Um, so, again, like I've got to because of the, the things that he does on a Friday night. So, anyone that wants to follow it, or, or certainly what I was doing, was he do a live set Friday night all the way through lockdown. We didn't really touch on that. So, yeah. every week of lockdown, he'd do a live set. Um, and as he said, he'd have thousands of people watching. But what was really interesting being community based is he started to build a big community. Yeah, right. And people would tune in every week and they'd be like, oh, good to see you. And they'd be chatting amongst themselves. Yeah. Whilst he's playing the set. And it was such a nice community. And then they'd welcome me in and then his mum would comment and then they'd be like, hey, Max's mum. And they'd be talking to him. And it's just such a beautiful thing. That is works, awesome. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that is lovely. And, uh, such a firm following and I wish him I wish him all the best not only needs our luck but um, and a good album right <laughs> yeah yeah I really like that camera fat one yeah like when I first heard it I was totally out of my comfort zone with that um, but I haven't run to it and playing it in the house just seeing how much my son loves it yeah it's brilliant right? yeah yeah he's like really connected to that album and he's four I love it it's brilliant and D- DJ Midge to follow up ah <laughs> oh, DJ Midge Let's find him. Let's find him. Let's find him. Let's get him. Let's get him doing a little soundtrack. Maybe you can do the soundtrack to series two. Yes. Carl will be angry. <laughs> <laughs> right, mate. Well, listen. Shall I see you? Uh, I'll see you soon. Shall I? Yeah, catch you soon. If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. All right. No, weird. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. You lucky people have been listening to the Humming Punks podcast. Produced by myself, Carl, and sponsored by Shaw. Sure.